Hello Rockheads and welcome to Retail Tycoon 2 where I'm hoping to be able to go from noob to pro in the hope that I can build my own ultimate retail empire. Now I know there's a lot of people out there who've been playing this for quite a long time uh, including Mrs. Rock as well who actually recommended this game to me. So here we are, I'm going to start my own journey off. I've uh, never played a game like this one before, so I'm really looking forward to getting into it and seeing what it's all about. And as you can see, I've started off with the uh, with the starter cash, so we are starting out with five thousand uh, dollars, pounds, quits. I'm not too sure. I'm probably dollars. Um, I haven't picked a plot as of yet, so I don't know if there's any particular kind of area where it's where it's kind of best to do it. Uh, but we're going to have a little scout through each plot anyways, and just, um, just as I'm doing that, I'm scanning around the area just to see if there's going to be somewhere that will be beneficial to us. So we've kind of got this middle section over here as well. Uh, I've noticed these, these little areas with uh, car parks. Now, I could imagine we get to maybe make our own car park at some point. Uh, I don't think I really want to go up too high um, as of yet. So I'll probably stay like middle, middle-ish ground. See, there's another car park there as well. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to probably select this one here again. Might not make any difference, but we're going to go ahead and claim anyways. So here we are. Would you like to go through a short tutorial? Uh, absolutely. I think that's what we're going to have to do. Congratulations on your new store. It's empty right now, so let's get some shelves placed down. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we're going to go up and open the build menu. Okay. Uh, so open the shelving uh, section. Right, let me just get rid of this as well. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and open the shelving menu. Now, it is prompted me to go ahead and select this but at the same time my eyes are kind of trained along here just to see what will be available to us as time goes on so we're going to get this starter shelf so place two shelves okay right what are we what are we actually working with here can i zoom out a little bit okay so we've got what looks like some sort of garage set up there and we do actually start off with our own little mini car park as well brilliant right okay so We've got a bunch of windows there and we've got the entrance slash exit as well. So I think first and foremost, I'm probably going to go ahead and just simply just dump this straight at the back there. Now it did want us to place two, two shelves. So I'm going to place one there and I as well go for the other corner as well. I know we will be changing things in turn. Now you need to place a cash register to your, uh, so your customers can pay for items. Okay, okay. So we're going to open the customer service section. And we're going to go for this basic one, which is a thousand dollars. Right, so let's have a look and see what we've got working with us here right now. Okay, so I think we're going to go. Can we vote our team? We can indeed. I think we're going to place the cash register probably about here for now. Uh, you're going to need something to put on those shelves. So let's drive down to the loading dock. Okay, so open up the vehicle menu. Do we get a starter vehicle? We do, we get a pickup truck, nice. So what's this, 300, 695. Is that the speed? Okay, okay. Are you gonna come down for me? Um, oh, uh, if I just place it or spawn it? Okay, we'll just drop it there. Okay, right, just before we do, I'm gonna run in here quickly just to see if this layout is okay for now. Empty trash can, can we do that? Will it give us some extra cash just while we're here? Okay, I don't think it did. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with that for now. At least there's enough space. Couldn't really tell properly there before when it was um, kind of up in the air. So we're going to go down now and get ourselves some lovely, lovely stocks. So let's get in the truck. Hopefully we've got a good bit of speed that we can get on the gun. Right, where are we going now? We're just following this way. Do we... Oh, turning. Ah, right, okay. So we're going to head downwards. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy. Okay. Break, break. Oh my god, I do not want to be falling off that. That is a big, big drop right there. Okay, so let's get down to the loading dock, which to be honest, that wasn't too far. It didn't take us too long at all to get there. Right, so we'll take it this is ours, as we have got the, uh, the Mr. Rock kind of thing up there. Right, okay, we jumping out here. This is where we could be coming in with a big, big truck at some point. So I've got those vibes. Okay, so let's go and talk to our attendant over here. Buy goods. Yes, from this menu, you can buy items to sell at your store. Okay. 
So let's see what we've got. So it wants us to select canned food. Now again, just before I go ahead and do that, I'm just having a quick scout to see what else will be available to us as time goes on. So we've got uh, buy, we've got sell, unit size and stored as well. Instant deliveries, um, we've got toys, clothing, shoes, hats, candies. Wow. Okay, I I wasn't realising it was going to be this extensive. So we've got all the condiments and beverages. We've also got a bunch of electronics as well. Uh, appliances, kitchenware. We've got instruments. Oh my god, this is a full-on like, retail, isn't it? Okay, so we've got guns. Uh, ammo, military vehicles and armoured vehicles. Um, okay, okay. I've, it wouldn't be my first go-to, but you know, I wouldn't mind buying a tank. Uh, right, so for canned food, let's have a look here. So each category on the left contains several item variants. On this side, you can see those variants and which shelves they fit on. Okay, so at the minute, it's prompted us to select the canned food because we do have the basic shelves. So we can, we've got beans, this is rock. We've got soup, uh, we've got canned fruit and canned veggies. Okay. Canned foods can be placed on regular shelves, so let's buy some. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Uh, the pickup truck can hold 300 units of cargo, and canned food takes up two units each, so we can buy up to 150 units. So we're going to go ahead and uh, do that. So we can buy 20 for $200. Now, we have already got two shelves, haven't we? So I'm not going to go crazy, crazy, because we might buy too much, and we'll have nowhere to fit them all. So, load and dock 40, okay, um, do we buy some more? I think I'd be able to buy another 20? I think so, I think so. Right, oh, it wants us to buy 100, okay, okay. And I know we can just select it there. How many have we got already? Buy some more, there we go. So I've noticed down here, at least that'll come in handy where we can just, like, simply just select it straight away. So we're gonna close the inventory menu. I think we're done over here for now. Is this our, our stuffs? Will it load into the truck? Get back to your truck. Okay. Load the truck. Okay. Do we just simply click on it? Do we need to stay over here? Load truck. Whoa! Okay. I thought it was going to force us to kind of, you know, whip up the forklift. Take the pallet over to the truck in there. Um, so that's great. Okay. So let's lock and load. We are now going to drive back to the store. If I uh, don't oof over the side of this bridge, which should be absolutely fantastic. Okay. So let's speed up the hill, we go, uh, and then we'll see what happens when we get up. So we've got 2,000 left in the bank, and uh, I think this is where things are going to start getting really, really interesting now, because this is our first intake of stock. So we've got to unload it, um, let's just spat them, open the shelf, stock and menu. Oh, okay, right, they've disappeared, I thought we were going to have to pick them up off the tarmac. Okay, so set the filter to regular shelf items, okay. Uh, select one of the canned food variants, so we've got the beans, haven't we? Let's just go for that. Uh, stock your shelves with any canned goods. So, do I just simply select it? Whoa. Has that just filled that with beans? I think it possibly has. Do I select another one? So, canned foods... Uh, I can't even, I don't even know what some of these are. Right, let's just stock up this one as well. Right, the last thing you should do is hire a cashier. You can do any work or task yourself, but it's nice to have some help. Okay, so it has prompted us to open up the workers menu. So that we're going to do that. We're going to go and hire a new worker. And we've now got Rebecca Collins coming in. Uh, cashiers work, the cash registers where customers pay for items. Okay, so we've got a hire uh, for $200. And that, what is that going to make it? Do we have to pay Rebecca $20 a minute? Or do we get $20 a minute? Not too sure. Um, close the workers menu. Gotcha, gotcha. Now you've got a functional store. Keep making money and become a retail tycoon okay right so i think that is us done and dusted we have just got a badge there i think for completing the tutorial and we are increasing a little bit there in cash so i think that 20 per minute is for us i think because it is going up in 20 dollar increments there so before we do anything else let me just head in here and see what's going down so i think what we need to do because we have got more canned goods aren't we so let's just empty up the trash can first we're going to work with what we've got 
for now. So let me go back to uh, the menus. So go back to build. Um, we've already got a cash register there, haven't we? So we've got a bunch of walls, we've got tiles, we've got all the ceiling stuff, we've got the shelf. And I'm going to go ahead, I think, and place down another shelf. Just for now. Because I think the rolling theme is going to be making sure that we've got a bunch of stocks in. But I've also got to be careful that I don't spend all the money in one go. So I think we're happy with that for now. While we're here, I'm going to explore a bunch of other things that are in the menus. Just so I can start to sort of wrap my head around what we've got. But just before we do, I'm going to come out of the shelven menu. I'm going to go back up to stock shelves. Because we did have some stuffs before. Um, right, so shelves canned foods did we use all the canned foods up before okay so we need to we need to get back to the warehouse i think if that's what we want to be calling it and get ourselves some extra stock because at the minute we've got a shelf full of beans which uh, only a handful of them have actually been bought and we've got a bunch of other stuff there okay okay so we've got two shelves i think it's time to go and get some more stock and then we shall come back and check out what else is on uh is to be ordered no what there is to check out basically right we've got a bunch of trash that we need to clean up as well we need some bins don't we we absolutely do need some bins and at the minute i don't think i'm getting paid am i to clean up this trash no i'm not seeing the money increase okay so in fact just before we do go and stock up let's have a little look at what else is in the build menu um so if we've got kind of like cosmetic look and stuff we've got decorations let's see what we've got here the multiples ah so we can change the colors okay so we've got posters we've got a sign with words on it nice okay uh we've got some hedges fountains flowers all those things as well oh oh i'm liking this we've got escalators uh amenities as well so we've got the cash fender machines we've got some trolleys mobility scooters nice feel like we're in benetton walls we've got walls plenty we've got tiles we've got there's so many different things right what's this store inventory as well can we buy things from here okay so i did want to buy more canned stuff didn't i how much have we got we've got two thousand so let's buy a hundred do we need to go and collect that from the loading dock i wonder if there's a way in time that we can actually um oh we've got cereal as well snacks chips how much was the um boxed food cereal so if i get say 20 of them for 240 we can sell is that individually priced 24 dollars per one for me to buy them is that 12 dollars Pair and unit size is three. Okay, right, let's buy ten of the cereal. And we'll see what happens when we come back with that. Right, what's this stuff as well? So much to check out. Right, let's go back to store inventory. Where was that menu that just come up before? Was that in build mode? Ah, yes, okay. Oh, so this, it's a bit like kind of theme park tycoon 2 as well. So that there's a, we can expand really far. Wow. So that's game pass section over there. Um, okay, got ya, got ya. So we've got a, a bunch of other different things that we can select here as well. I wonder if that's different layers of the floors. Um, I'm not too sure what a bunch of these are at the minute. I think that's when we go up a floor, down a floor. Yep, roof level one, level two, ground and all that stuff. Okay, okay, so plenty to check out. This is a bunch of ceiling stuff, I think. Gotcha, gotcha. Right, okay. Okay, right, don't push the car. We want to get in and drive. So, we're going to head back, I think, to um, the loading dock area thing. From what I can remember, we do take a trip down here. So, we're going to get that need for speed. Go over the spooky, scary bridge again. Whoa, 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 whoa. Break, break, break. Oh, thought I was going to get eaten. So, it looked like I could order the stock without physically having to come here. Well, come here to collect it. But it will save time me having to speak to this dude continuously. I can literally just order the stock, come back pick up shoot back to the store as quick as i can so that is um that's good stuff so we bought more canned foods and we bought some cereal as well because i think the cereal we could use on the basic shelves i think that's something else i do want to check out what we can buy so i think the aim of the game of at the minute is just to um generate some cash which once we've got this shelved up uh unload truck 
So now that we've done that, let's go and see what a couple of people are saying. Clearly they're going to be moaning because I haven't got everything as well. I couldn't find everything expected. I couldn't find everything I wanted as expected, of course. So, now that we've brought the stock back, let me head back over to the shelves. Um, so where was it? Stock shelves. Now, what did we buy before? We bought some uh, more canned foods, didn't we? So, we also bought some cereal. It's the way that I can find it. Right, boxed foods, cereals. So, can I place them there? Now, we do have cereals now, which is great. It's a step up now. We're going to use different canned variety for this shelf here. So, at the minute, we've got, we've got plenty of beans, we've got cereal, we've got canned veggies, and we've got some soup. So that, I'm hoping, in return, uh, makes us a good little bit of cash, is the way that we can see in the inventory what we're kind of making at the minute. So yeah, we should, we've got 19 stores on the cans. I was hoping there was... Uh, I mean, I might be looking at it now, but there's so much more to soak in at the minute, right? So I'm going to come off that. What else have we actually got, then? So we can hide another worker, but at the minute, I think the one cashier is enough to handle the heat that's in this store, if we can even call it that, I suppose. Um, we could probably get away with placing another shelving unit if we put another one here and get ourselves some extra stock. So I'm going to go back to build. My mind has a little bit of a glitch then. I couldn't find the shelving. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and uh, select another shelf. We did get another reward there as well, another badge, but I kind of missed what that was. I'm sure it said uh, boy in it or son. I'm not too sure. Right, so we're going to go ahead and select this one here. How much have we got? We've got 2,420. So, I mean, I could see how much these ones are. In fact, I think we should go for another bigger boy shelf. I know it costs a little bit more. But I think we can kind of get away with it, I think. I don't know. We're going to risk it. We're going to risk it for the biscuit. We're going to place this one down. So now that that one's done, I'm going to go ahead and see. I want a basket. So we need some baskets as well. So I suppose this is where we can start increasing little things like trolleys and baskets. But just before we do, we're going to let them moan for now. Because they only, they only have to walk from there to there so we can get away with it. Just for now. Uh, we're going to go ahead to the um, store inventory. And I'm going to go ahead and see what we can store on that big boy shelf now. Now, I think it's this one here. I think it is. I think it is. Okay, so we've got baked goods. We've got fruits and vegetables. Uh, snacks. And what was that? Was that cold food? I think that can go on that. Can we buy some ice cream? So uh, I think with the cold food, it comes with all this stuff here, doesn't it? From what I can see candies as well so we've got a bunch of chocolates okay i think what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go for some cold foods just so that we've got them anyways i'm gonna buy 10 for 150 while i'm here i'm also gonna buy some more canned food and i'm also going to buy some more uh, what other stuff could we put on the basic shelves was it candy chocolate we can put some on the cash register as well and for the vending machine okay let's buy some candy okay look we're gonna go ahead and collect that stock now couldn't find anything i wanted i want a basket yes i know i know we're gonna be increasing stock and i will buy you the baskets don't worry don't worry right let's head back to the loading area and then that way we can check out uh, where we can place some of the other stuff. Because if we can put some chocolate on the uh, register as well, like they do kind of in real life, the supermarkets. You know, like you go to, like if you're in the UK, you go to Tesco or Asda or something like that. And you've got, you know, the cash registers full of, um, it's usually they're like chewing gum, chocolate, you know, smints and little, little sweets. Just, you know, if you haven't bought enough already. You're tempted to buy even more. Right, I forgot. I don't even have to get out, do I? I can just go load truck. Get that loaded in. And now we are going to, as quick as we possibly can, shoot back to the store. So let's say we've got a 4.0 rating. Does that mean we've got four stars already? I don't think we're doing too bad. Even though it's just the, the, the kind of like the starter store at the minute. Okay, so where are we? Are we... We're just over there. Okay, what was that? I crashed into the gerb. Damn, I need my license. Okay, so we're going to head back to the garage. We're going to unload the truck. We're going to spit those boxes out. We're going to head back in. And we're going to see about uh, getting these stocks on the shelves. So, empty. Now, what did we get? What did we get? Can I... 
uh, select the canned foods, we are going to select this one over here. Let's get that one stocked up nicely. Uh, what else did we buy? Was it cold foods, I think? Should be back this way, surely. Baked goods, cold foods. Can I store ice cream on this one? No? I might have bought the wrong stock. I think I've done, yeah. Damn, 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 damn it! Okay, so I need to figure out what shelf stores the cold foods. Now, we did buy snacks, didn't we? Snacks. Candies! Right, can we store that on the can- Look, oh, can we put that on the shelf here? No? Okay, so we, we've- Oh, we've put the chocolate on that shelf there, right, okay. Right, I was confused, so clearly, we, we still have the uh, the cold foods here ready to go. Now, I thought we could store it on that shelf, so I need to figure out what stock we buy for that. I know there's going to be a bunch of people screaming out there saying, No, it was this stock, you should have bought that. I know, I know. So, we've, uh, we've managed to get the little starter store set up. Now, we clearly need to progress. Uh, expansions will come in time. I need to clean up some trash. I think we're probably going to hire another cashier at some point we have got a bunch of people coming in which is good we've dropped slightly on the rating but that's to be expected that's to be expected i need to find out what goes on this shelf here but at the minute we have got a good bunch of stock including all of my favorite treats so we've got instead of stickers we've got stickers instead of toblerone we've got roblerone and instead of Hershey's, we've got he's he's nice, nice. So these are going to be things that I'm going to take big interest in as well because I love it when the games change up the names. But I think I am going to end the video for here. I'm quite happy that we've managed to get the starter store set up. Clearly, plenty more work to do. But if you did like this video, please make sure to like it and subscribe. And if you would like to see another episode of me expanding on our retail store, then please let me know in the comments below. If you have got any hints or tips for the games, then please let me know also in the comments. But until the next time, my friends, take care. Bye-bye.